Many children with autism suffer from gastrointestinal symptoms like constipation, diarrhea, bloating. Um, my collab collaborator, Jim Adams, and I have been working on the relationship between microbiota in the gut and autism for more than 10 years. And we found that a strong reason why these problems occur are abnormal bacteria in the gut of kids with autism. Children with autism are missing many beneficial microbes, hundreds and hundreds of species. These beneficial microbes are so important for our health because these microbes help us digest our food, they help us um, stay healthy, they produce vitamins, they line our intestines, they train our immune system. So they do so much for us that when you're missing them, that of course affects your health. They also produce some chemicals that communicate with our brain. And so as Dr. Rosie says, the issue is that because these children are missing many beneficial bacteria, we investigated a new, very exciting treatment in which we took gut bacteria from healthy, carefully screened donors and transferred them into children with autism. And we found great improvements. We found about a 60% reduction in gut symptoms, about an almost 50% reduction in autism symptoms after two years. So very exciting, very dramatic improvement in these children. And because of that, the FDA has granted us fast track status for this exciting new treatment. This research has only been possible because Achieving Cures Together uh, provided funding to the University of Minnesota to produce these very high quality microbiota capsules using the process that they patented and which essentially acts like a super probiotic. So now we're just beginning to uh, new studies, one for children with autism, one for adults with autism. We've had over 2000 uh, children and adults apply for these studies. So there's a lot of excitement in the autism community because these gut problems are such a major issue and we now have high hopes for treating them. What we need in order to move forward our studies is A, we need more of this very good microbiota that is produced for us at the University of Minnesota in order to be able to, to advance the trials that we have ongoing right now. And we're also um, investigating wh what are the mechanisms, how are these microorganisms interacting with each other and with us, and what are they doing? What are the chemicals that they are producing? We're investigating this in order to be able to find possibly um, other treatments and um, novel diagnostics too. Um, so this research is really, really important. So please um, consider making a contribution. That's a 